Hi traders, uh, Chris Bin from FX Argo Trader here. I'm going to talk about how to draw a trend line uh, correctly in MetaTrader 4. It's important to draw high quality trend lines and know how to draw them properly if you're going to start using any form of automated trend line trading tools. So really the definition of a good trend line or a proper high integrity trend line is where the trend line passes through uh, swing high or swing low points and price action respects those those points going forward so if you look at this four hourly euro dollar chart here we can see we've got swing lows here 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 and here and if we just connect those swing low points we're looking for basically a, uh, to draw a trend line pretty much through those swing lows and in theory the trend line should not be broken at any point. You can see here this uptrend was broken here, this point. And interestingly, you notice the way price action breaks through the uptrend, comes back and retests the same trend line, so effectively support becoming resistance, and then comes off again. So arguably, that uptrend is now no longer valid. So we'd be looking to draw a trend line through the swing high point here and there. And that would now constitute our new downtrend, our area of resistance. Although, technically speaking, this trend line is only being drawn through two swing highs. And really, to have a proper trend line, it needs to be through three, two or three swing points or more. It kind of almost is there. It's almost hitting that swing high point there. So you could argue that is a, is a trend line of high integrity. On the daily chart, um, you can look at that again. You can see that uptrend there was a pretty high integrity trend line hitting or going through those swing low points. Let's just make this a little bigger so we can see what's going on. So yeah, that was a pretty high integrity trend line which was then broken here. Let's redraw these a little bit again. Look at it on a bigger scale. So you can see we saw a swing high there, there, and pretty much there. Sometimes it doesn't matter if you get a bit of a spike through these lines, but you know you always tend to find price action on the longer time frames will respect these longer term trend lines. And you see price action was fairly resoundingly rejected there until it broke through solidly here. And then we see now seeing this kind of let's look at this trend line here. That's not valid. We've talked about that one before, so we I wouldn't be looking for that. I'd say probably we're in an area of possibly a downtrend coming through these swing highs here. Not in especially convincing in terms of integrity. Let's look at a higher time frame again. This is weekly. Let's just see how this stacks up on the euro dollar. So that's two swing points that comes through. So not especially great. There's again two swing points on the weekly. What have we got on this uptrend here? Let's have a look at that. See if we can, again, we haven't got enough data points to really draw any high, high integrity trend lines on the weekly chart. Monthly, you're probably not going to see much difference either. So, really, we're looking at going down to the four hourly again. As I said, looking at really a sort of downtrend or area of consolidation most probably where at a push we can call this trend line here of pretty high integrity because it's going through two if not three swing points swing highs that is um, in terms of swing lows there's just not a lot going on here you could say this is a downtrend a, a trending channel downtrending channel if we connect those two swing lows there uh, but we don't have a third reference point. Well, sort of, perhaps, at a push, you could use that one. So that's a descending channel. And you'd be looking to potentially trade on the short side of this if you saw this uh, area of resistance getting tested. So just a quick overview of trend lines and how to draw them correctly. There are different schools of thought on it. Some people may be looking to draw trend lines through the actual bodies of candles. There is a bit of poetic license to it. Um, and also remember that price action won't necessarily 
respect trend lines exactly. You may get price punching through a little bit, but the longer the trend line has been intact for, and, uh, and obviously the longer the time frame, the more likely it is price action will respect that trend line. So it's important if you're going to start running automated trend line trading systems, such as we have a range of uh, products, um, three in fact, Trend Line Trader 1, 2 and Pro, which will allow you to trade automatically from trend lines. But if you don't know what you're doing and you're drawing rubbish trend lines, you know, like that or something, you know, that this is just not, not going to be a good way to go about running an automated trend line based trading system. So it's important to understand how to draw trend lines correctly. Obviously, if you look at other currency pairs or other uh, asset classes, you may find price action is respecting uh, trends more, more appropriately and more accurately. This is um, sterling. I'm looking at daily chart here. Let's look at the four hourly. Again, we're looking at, we've seen a pretty strong uptrend, swing low, swing low, swing low. But that uptrend has now been broken. So we're looking at potentially a gain, probably similar to the euro dollar. It's not very good. Let's draw that correctly. Again, we haven't got enough reference points. We've got two swing highs, which, we, which we're going through here. So we're arguably looking at, again, a downtrending channel, connecting up those two swing lows there. Um, but obviously, as price action unfolds over the next few hours, we'll see whether these, if we get a, another swing point up here, and that will give us an indication of whether this, this area of resistance here is going to be respected. Chances are, it's pretty high because if you look at the overall trend on the weekly and monthly basis it's very much down and obviously with brexit fears and all the rest of it the chances are we're going to see further weakening there so factoring a few fundamentals to our trading decisions is going to be important and we're just really looking for further confirmation that this downtrend channel downtrending channel will remain intact if we do get a third swing high coming up here and respecting this area of resistance then we'll be looking to jump in on that and any further retests we'd want to go short off that off that trend line and look to potentially uh, take our profits on this area of potential support here but obviously if you if, if you know the market was very bearish you may want to just trim down the position and let some leave some position to run possibly you may see the market then test these lows that we've seen before which is in all likelihood is quite probable, particularly with the March Article 50 decision coming up in the next few weeks. So I hope that is of interest to you. Um, if you'd like to check out some of our automated trendline trading systems, you can visit the website, which is www.fxalgotrader.com. Thanks for watching.